I'm Suzanne Ridgway from Let Us Eat, and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be about dusting and what you can do to reduce dust in your house and make the job a lot easier with some tips, tricks, and hacks. It's a daunting task, and it's one of the, my least favorites next to folding laundry and putting the laundry away. And I tend to put it off quite a bit, I'll be honest with you. I don't like to dust, so sometimes I go a long time without it. And you should dust every time you sweep or vacuum. And you should also do your baseboards every time you sweep or vacuum. And you should, there are some simple tricks that you can do just to make it a lot easier and a little more tolerable to get the job done quicker. If you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. Please look for the red subscribe word and click on the button. Also, there's a bell. Tap on the bell so you get all my future videos. And hit that like button because it helps me out quite a bit. And thank you for your view to everyone that has been with me for a while. Thank you so much. Y'all mean a lot to me. I'm a small channel looking to grow. I'm hoping to reach 200 subscribers by January is my goal. I just got a new subscriber last night. Thank you so much for joining my growing family. And with that said, let's dive right into it. Here are a variety of tools that I use when I'm dusting and wiping things down. And I have behind me my Swiffer, my broom and dustpan, and I have this swivel dusting broom that was given to me. I'm going to try it for the first time. It should be able to reach the ceiling as well as the corners of all, all your walls, which you should be dusting every three months or so which I had no idea, but I was reading last night dusting tips and tricks and things that you should be doing on a regular basis. And baseboards is one of those things that you should be dusting, and I will be doing that today. And I have a nice hack that I'll be showing you and some tricks and tips. With the baseboard, I use the dryer sheets. It gets everything off of them, and it's a nice way to make your home smell good and you just go along the baseboard to attach it to your Swiffer. For dusting furniture I got this mitt from the Dollar Tree. It's in the car department for waxing your car. You can also use it for dusting your blinds. I don't have blinds but I use it on my furniture. I get the furniture polish from the Dollar Tree. It's equivalent to Pledge in my opinion and it works really well and I like it a lot. Pick up a spray bottle because then you can put your vinegar mixture in it, which is one part vinegar, three parts water, one part dish soap. I will put the recipe into my description box. I use on my Swiffer the Dollar Tree Scrub Buddies. It's a 10 pack or the Burl Oil, which is an A brand, the 8 pack, whatever they have in stock. This is what they look like. I keep them in a Ziploc bag. I also use there are microfiber cloths for wiping down, and when you're done, you can just toss it in the laundry and reuse it. For touching up stains on your furniture and your walls, I use these magic erasers. You can cut them in half and make them last longer. They are just as good as Mr. Clean, and they last a lot longer. This is what they look like. In the box, it's a two-pack, whereas the Mr. Clean, which they do carry at the Dollar Tree, is a single pack. I have written down what I'm going to touch base on. You're going to sweep and vacuum often. You're going to wipe things down like tabletops and countertops. You're going to go through all your corners, which I just mentioned, and I'm going to show you in a clip what to do. You should uh, do all your furniture and appliances. They say to do that every day, but I don't do that every day. I don't have time to be realistic. At least once a week is sufficient enough. And your curtains, I don't do once a week. That's just way too much. I do them every three months. I take them down and I wash them. They collect a lot of dust. You should dust, shake out your rugs if you have area rugs outside with a rug beater. They also collect a lot of dust. 
your beds also collect a lot of dust so wash your sheets often and you can use your vacuum to mat vacuum out your mattresses or I usually just tip them over and let everything fall off and then I sweep up under the beds at least once a month I'm going to get my mop head with the towel on it and I'm going to show you what I mean by doing the corners of your ceilings It's on a nice long stick, and this has a cloth that you can take off, remove, and wash it. You're going to take it, and you're going to run across. Just a few days ago when I decluttered my dining room. Make sure you do the top of the doorways. And you can also reach the ceiling with this and do along the ceiling. And then for your ceiling fans, if you have them, I would just use a shirt and do your ceiling fans with a shirt or to uh, do each panel of the ceiling fan. But that's an example of how to do your ceilings in the corners. And when you're sweeping, I would wait until all the walls are done and the baseboards so you can do a full sweep and not have to keep sweeping. If you're old like me, it's hard to bend down. But you're going to take your dryer sheet. Just rub along the top and the outside of them. You can use your Swiffer and attach it to it. For video purposes, I am just kneeling down and I'm going to do under all the dust. You can do under it as well. While dusting over in that corner, I ran into a spider web. I don't like them at all. Um, this was very handy. I was able to take the whole thing down. I don't know if you can see some of the remnants of it. And then when I'm done with this, it just goes in my wash. I do my laundry every other day, and today happens to be a wash day. And I'm going to get my green basket, which is clean, and all put away for the school week this week. It's a short week, because Thanksgiving's Thursday. I'm going to spray. furniture polish on this and I'm going to do the wall up there and this is great for behind the Christmas tree and hard to reach areas it slides right in not knock down any of your picture frames so they don't get broken. I have my TV kitty corner and before I wouldn't have been able to reach the wall there it makes it so much easier. For the last corner of my walls in my TV room I'm going to be doing behind my corner bookcase that sinks right in. I'm just going to run it along the wall and Santa fell. So be careful.
careful not to knock things over. And then you're just going to do the ceilings real quick while you're over here. And the wall. They suggest for you to vacuum out your couch, but I have a slip cover on the actual cushion, so I wash it once a month. And my couch frame is wood, so I just dust that once a week with my Dollar Tree version of Pledge. Don't worry, Santa didn't break. He is wood, as well as the tree that fell, which you didn't see because I redid my clip, was uh, made out of stencil. It was also not glass. These are my microfiber cloths from the Dollar Tree. I stocked up last year. So I'm excited to open up a new package. Wash them a few times, then toss them. I'll show you the size of them. This is what they look like, like a washcloth. You can spray it with whatever cleaner you're doing. And then you can dust off the top of your TV stand. The remote controls. You can use electric wipes. They have them available at the Dollar Tree. And do your remote controls at least three times a week because a lot of people touch them and they get dirty easily. And I recommend you doing your phone as often as possible. As you can see, they come in a two pack and they have different varieties of colors and sizes. I prefer this brand and I like the way it feels. Some people have a texture thing. This is my glove from the Dollar Tree. I use it for dusting furniture. You're going to spray it like the microfiber cloth and then you're just going to dust where you want to clean. Get under the TV and the doors. Keep your furniture nice. My TV stand is from the late 80s, early 90s. It was my mother's, and I really like it. I like the storage underneath. In my last video, which I'll link to the description box, I just organized it nice and tidy with my TV room. And you'll be able to see that when you view the video. Again, this is from the car section at the Dollar Tree. It's for waxing, but I use it for dusting. Last but not least is my magic eraser. I don't really see any areas that need a quick touching up. But you can spritz it with your cleaner or your vinegar mixture and just rub on the spot and it comes right off. It works really well. I really enjoyed the Dollar Tree brand. And as I said, you can cut them in half depending on what size cleanup you need. And I've seen people do grooves to clean out the window panes where your window lifts and rests and they run it along through and they clean out that. I do my windows once a year and I, I do my window panes once a year as well. Try to keep them clean. My windows fold out into my house and I have a video on that which I'll link to my description box. But if you liked my video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe. And for all those who just joined me, thank you so much. I'm a growing channel. All of you mean a lot to me. I am a certified YouTuber at over 100 subscribers, trying to grow my channel. I would love to get to 1,000 subscribers if I can. I want, my goal is 200 for the end of the year. And I know we can make that happen by clicking that red subscribe word and tapping the bell for future videos so you can watch all of them. I will be a little more diligent in using my description box and posting previous videos into this. I'll be doing another video later today. I am going to be making a pantry staple dinner. It's a split ham and pea soup. And what I mean by that, I have everything on hand and I don't have to write a grocery list or go to the store. I'll be doing a series of videos on pantry cooking and how to save money and reducing your grocery bill. And with that said, have a great day.